In this video, we're going to be evaluate a numerical expression. We have 50 to the power 100 divided by 100 to the power 50. So we could also raise a question like which number is bigger, but I'm pretty sure you're going to figure that out pretty quickly. Right? Obviously, a lot of times when we have a to the b and b to the a, the number with a smaller base is usually smaller, right? Or maybe it's the other way around. Anyways, let's not spoil the surprise. Let's go ahead and take a look at a graph first, and then I'm going to show you a result from Wolfram, Wolfram Alpha. And so you're going to get an idea about the size of this ratio. And then we're going to proceed with the solution. I'll be presenting two solutions, and we will start with the first one. But before that, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of a function. All right, so I'm going to get back to this numerical expression after these. So here's the graph, and this is the graph of what? Let's go ahead and, you know, kind of talk about it. This is actually the graph of y equals, this is the graph of y equals x to the power 2x divided by 2x to the power x. So remember, our expression was 50 to the power 100 divided by 100 to the power 50. So for actually x equals 50, uh, this is the graph we're looking at. But at x equals 50, this is going to be super duper steep, almost like a vertical line. So it's really hard to fit here unless you zoom out like crazy. Okay, anyways, you get the idea, right? And later on, we're also going to talk about how we can simplify this in general form. Because it's also interesting that this thing can be simplified in general form. And one of the cool things about uh, generalizing something is that you have a formula that you, you can apply to many situations. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical value. And you're like, wow, this is crazy. So a couple of facts. So the result is that number that you see right there. I'm not going to read it. But the decimal approximation tells you that this is a 70 digit number. So it has 70 digits, 7.888 something times 10 to the power 69. And you can start reading it as 7 duo vigintillion, blah, blah, blah. And it has 70 decimal digits, as you can see. And as a good comparison, I think this is pretty good. 7.9 times 10 to the power negative 11 times the number of atoms in the visible universe. So think about all the number of, like the number of atoms in the whole universe, and you kind of multiply it by this super small number, then you'll get the number you're looking for. All right, great. So let's go ahead and proceed with the solutions. First method. So our original problem was 50 to the power 100 divided by 100 to the power 50. Great. So my f for my first method, I'm going to do the following. First of all, notice that 100 is an even number, so I can write this as 50 to the power 50 squared. Now the motivation behind writing it as 50 times 2, not 25 times 4, or 10 times 10 is the presence of the exponent at the bottom. That is a 50, so I, I'd like to take advantage of that. So I'm going to go with the same exponents first, okay? Now 50 to the power 50 squared can be written as 50 to the power 50 times 50 to the power 50, because x squared is x times x, right, by definition. And this is going to be divided by 100 to the power 50. Now we're going to go ahead and put these two together. So kind of like separate our expression into two factors. The first factor is going to be the following. So how do you simplify this? Well, we're going to use the rule a to the n divided by b to the n is a over b to the power n. Make sense? So under that rule, we can go ahead and write this as 50 over 100 and then a common power of 50 multiply by this number right here, 50 to the power 50. Great. What do we do next? 50 goes into 100 two times. Simplify, you get 1 half. Great. So we have 1 half to the power 50 times 50 to the power 50. And guess what? They can be multiplied. How? Well, you can first write this first one as 1 over 2 to the power 50 times 50 to the power 50. And then this is 50 to the power 50 divided by 2 to the power 50. At this point, we're going to use another rule, 
which is actually not another rule, the same rule, this time with a different, different basis. Uh, and it's going to be 50 over 2 to the power 50, which is 25 to the power 50. And guess what? That's the answer. But don't leave yet because we're going to do the second method. And we're also going to talk about the general formula or the function whose graph you've seen. And if you haven't seen it, this is the graph. All right. Cool, we'll get back to it. And this is the Wolfram Alpha result, which is kind of cool. Like the result is about seven duo vigintillion. All right, cool. And this also tells you that the numerator is larger, right? Because you got a number greater than one. Well, much greater than one. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Second method is 50 to the power 100 divided by 100 to the power 50. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break down the denominator this time. 100 can be written as 2 times 50. And again, the motivation of breaking it down that way is the presence of 50 in the numerator. So I want to use the same number, okay? As a, uh, or the same base, in other words. So let's go ahead and use another property of exponents. Properties of exponents are fun, by the way. And properties of logs and exponents are actually, they are very much connected. Anyways. So this can be broken down into 2 to the 50, 50 to the power 50. What am I going to do with this? Well, we can go ahead and separate it again into two pieces like this and like that. This time it's going to be by division, not by multiplication, but that's okay. Now what do we have? We have the same base. So if you divide a to the m by a to the n, it is a to the power m minus n. In other words, if you divide powers with the same base, you subtract exponents. So this gives you 50 to the power 50 divided by 2 to the power 50, but now they have the same exponent, so I can divide the bases, use the same exponent, and that is 25 to the power 50, just like before. See, you got the same answer. Not a surprise, right? Of course. Okay, we don't have a third method, but we can just simplify the original function. What was the function? Okay, so our function was f of x equals x to the power 2x, divided by 2x to the power x. So this might look a little complicated, especially when numerically given uh, it, obviously the numbers are gigantic, but so here's what we can do. First of all, we can distribute the exponent at the bottom. So let's write it as x to the 2x divided by 2 to the x times x to the power x. Awesome. Now, what can I do here? There's a couple of things you can do here. First of all, you can go with x to the 2x and 2 to the x because they have the same base. Well, the exponent, I mean, sort of. Or you can go with the same base. I'll go with the same base because it's more fun. So let's go ahead and use these two together. If you divide them, you get x to the power x. And at the bottom, you have 2 to the power x. So what is this equivalent to? So f of x can be written as x over 2 to the power x. So it's kind of similar to x to the x, it's just curved a little differently, stretched or whatever, uh, but you get the idea, right? And those dots that you see there is, uh, Desmos is actually trying to graph uh, it for negative x values, but struggling because it's kind of crazy. Anyways, but if you graph it and don't zoom in or zoom out, you'll get those dots. So, that's the answer, and we're trying to evaluate f to the power 50. If you plug it in, okay, let's count this as our third method. 50, 25 to the power 50 will give you the answer right away. So it might be a good idea sometimes to simplify in the general case and then plug it in, which would be our third method. Even though I said I'm not gonna, I'm only gonna present the second method, two methods, whatever. Anyway, this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.